Welcome back, guys. Today we're going for a test drive in a 1975 Impala. This one here has the gear drive, has a built 350. We've also got power steering, upgraded valve covers. And what we're gonna do is take it down the road, see how she runs and drives. We're also going to be doing a walk around, pointing out chips, scratches, flaws on the paint, looking for rust. This one here has got disc brakes on the front, drum in the rear. Check us out, maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures of this ride, inside and out. I have financing and shipping available. And if you hit subscribe and share this video, I'll keep them coming your way. Rocking, baby. All right, about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we leave, let's check out the interior. The buzzer still works. Go ahead and place your bet. Do you think the horn works? Turn the key on this one. Oh, pressure's up. Way up. Water temperature still climbing. AC's not hooked up, but blower motor is blowing. Blew some dust out. Woo! I might even sneeze. We'll cut that off. Um, let's try the wipers. There she is. Better hurry and quit. That blade's starting to come apart over there. Needs a new wiper blade. Seat's in pretty good shape. Package tray needs to be redone. That thing's weak back there. Headliner's not bad. Weekend spots. Okay, water temperature's on up there now. <coughs> There's that sneeze. Tax Morgan. I'll show you the mileage. I can't stand behind it on this car. Horn. It works. Works good. All right. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, guys, getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these test drives. Got a little piece of plastic came off the top part there. Just gonna pull it on down there. So when we get these cars in, we basically take them to the back, wash them up, check them over, make sure they run right, uh, check the brakes, and show you what else is wrong. We don't work on anything else. Like if the horn didn't work, we wouldn't fix it. If the lower motor didn't work, wipers, etc. We don't fix that kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Speedo's coming up. Shift kit in it. This motor is definitely built. It's pulling this boat. <laughs> Brakes. They're stopping fast, throwing all my stuff out. I do believe it just shifted down. Kick out should be hooked up.
does feel like it's got a bit of a stall. <laughs> this thing sounds awesome. Okay, so I got about $30 worth of gas in this one. Always run premium, no matter what car I bring up here. Put the gas in right behind this. And let's see if the gauge works. The buzzer works. Gauge, turn the key. There she goes. to head back to the lot engine temperatures at 190 200 oil pressures right around 40 we did the walk around video seemed like it turned out pretty good I want you to watch that wait till the end of this video and you'll be able to see it pop up This one is so smooth. It feels great.
around the block. We're right around the corner from the car lot. fading going on some of your trim inside video if you did hit subscribe and check out our other videos here on youtube we've also got a tiktok and an instagram go on over and subscribe to them we post videos to those all the time pretty much daily and here comes the walk around video thanks again guys okay welcome back we're gonna walk around this car point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting when you get here we do this with every car on the lot and you can check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I have that available along with financing and shipping. We could ship this all around the country. I could ship the cars to the border. You have to figure out the rest. This one does have a lot of chips and scratches. Does need a paint job. So what we're mainly gonna look for is rust and dents. There's a lot of chips. No reason in going, it'd take me probably 30 40 minutes walk around this car point out every single chip as you can see this whole fender's eat up with chips lots of them so we're going to be looking for uh old pieces that are missing like this coming around the front looking at the bumper it's got a little bit of pitting popping up on it too the headlight bezels are a little bit faded Corner piece is missing here. Coming down this side, there's a dent right on top, real small. It's hard to see. I mean, it's pretty small. It's like a chip caused a dent. Lots of chips right here. Some pitting on your trim there in the corner, coming up over the fender. You got lots of little dings in your trim. Looks like you're missing a bolt inside the fender there. Did pick up some dirt. Lots of chips on the side here. A whole lot of them. A little bit of rust at the bottom there. Lots of chips down the bottom of the door. Got a little bit of rust in the corner there. And in the back corner. whole lot of chips a couple dings in your trim here bottom of the car there lots of chips and the back piece back there went down the side of the car you know it looks fairly straight I see one really small ding down there but a lot of chips Imperfections in the paint there. Looking over the front windshield, it's in good shape. The wipers need to be replaced. A bit of pitting on your mirror. The top here doesn't seem to be ripped anywhere up top. 
around the edges there's some rips here in the back actually it's got a little bubble right where that rip is because the water got let in same right here back section pretty good tinted windows on the back up here on the top you got some rust around your trim weather stripping on this one's in good shape Except for over here, it looks like it's bent. It's fairly new though. They got a little rip here too, probably when they installed it. You got some rust, there's a hole in the trunk. Also over here. Buffer on the back of this one's got some pitting and light scratches. got some spots in the trunk where the water was sitting and it's causing a little bit of rust look it up in your package tray you've got some surface rust on it okay Keys are in the ignition. It shuts pretty good. Top of that truck lid. It's got all kinds of chips and scratches. And then down this side. Lots of scratches at the bottom. And up over the fender, trim separated a little bit. Lots of chips. There's a scratch right there. And up over the fender. Lot of chips back down the midsection Some scuffs in the middle of the door light scratch there scratch right here in the middle of the door Looking over the top, a little bubble right there in the corner. The back the vinyl top needs to be replaced too. under the hood here they didn't paint it they just left it like it was has a little bit of rust popping up in spots all right let's go ahead and check this interior out carpet in this one has been replaced Fairly new. The seat's a little bit faded. 
see a rip here on the side. Wear on your door handle there, your armrest. Weather stripping. Soft, looks good. Bottom of the door, solid. Of course, the weather stripping around the windows has been replaced. It's nice and soft too. Starts up good. Tell you what, not very many dents, but lots of chips. There was a couple little scratches that we've seen, a little bit of pitting on your chrome, and a couple spots in that top. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to go over as much as I could. That way you knew everything about the car. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Also share and hit like, that helps us out quite a bit. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget maplemotors.com. Under detailed pictures, financing, shipping, and we update every Monday with new cars. All right guys, see you later.